Hello everybody, this is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4 Nuka World. Well, last time you'll remember, we ran through the gauntlet, defeated the overboss, and became the new overboss. So now Piper and I are here in the uh, front gate of Nuka World, in our barely held together power armor. And we're supposed to go meet Gage to talk about things at our new uh, quarters. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and personal. Good, you get up close and personal, I'll be shooting people. What do you expect us to do? We expect you to show a little appreciation. We make sure you've got enough to eat and drink. We provide security. Without us, you'd be food for the blood worms. You can either do your job and earn your keep, or... We can throw your ass outside the park. Or maybe you think you're better off out there, alone and unarmed. No! No, I'll, um, I'll get back to work. That's better. Not supposed to hurt the other gangs. No rule against tricking them into hurting each other, though. Mason tarred and feathered the last alphas. Ain't been seen since. And it ain't smart to go asking about it. Let's see, there's a cooking station. Hacking disciples. Bunch of amateurs playing dress up. <clears throat> New boss, huh? Don't worry, I don't cause problems. Please, just don't hurt me. Okay, so the traitors are all wearing explosive slave collars. Well, hello there, young fella. Welcome to Nuka World. I'm Nira, your friendly Nuka World informational robotic assistant. Is this your first visit to Nuka World? A friendly informational assistant? That's right. Just stop by whenever you have a question about any of our world-famous attractions. If you're looking to take a break, I can point you to one of our family-friendly restaurants or the non-stop thrills of the Nuka Cade. Now, before you set off on your grand Nuka adventure, let me tell you about... Error. <laughs> System malfunction. Are you finished wasting my time, you filthy lowlife scabber? Cause I'm getting bored, and when I get bored, I get violent. Wait, what did you just say? Oh, what's wrong, dirtbag? Too hopped up on chems to understand English? Or just too stupid? Well, I think you heard me just fine. System restored. Oops, sorry about that little glitch. Data logs indicate unauthorized tampering with my personality subroutines. Please contact a Nuka World maintenance technician as soon as possible. What happened? Who was tampering with you? I wish I could say. The personnel involved do not match visual records of any known Nuka World employees. Fortunately, my audio receptors recorded the entire event, and I submitted a holotape per standard security procedures. Now don't you worry. Even despite that unfortunate incident, I'm still operating at well over 61% normal capacity. As I was about Define to say, normal. I have a little tip to help you make the most of your exciting Nuka World adventure. Be sure to collect park medallions as you enjoy our amazing rides and attractions. There's a special reward if you collect a full set. If you have any questions about Nuka World, I'd be delighted to answer them. And remember, any time is the right time to enjoy a cold, refreshing Nuka Cola. Tell me more about these park medallions. I'd be delighted to. Spread throughout the park are several dispensing machines that will give you a special park medallion. Once you've got a complete set, just bring them back to me for a special reward. Where can I find these dispensing machines? I'll give you a hint. You'll want to visit some of our most popular rides and attractions to find them. What else would you like to know? Alright. 
Tell me about the different areas of the park. With pleasure. Set a course for the stars in the galactic zone and see the amazing future of mankind's journey into space. Explore Starport Nuka and blast into adventure aboard the Nuka Galaxy Roller Coaster. Travel back in time to Dry Rock Gulch, where you can walk the dusty streets of a frontier town. See history come to life in our authentic reenactments of cowboys and gunslingers as they tame the Wild West. Witness the wonder of nature in Safari Adventure, home to an amazing collection of exotic animals from all over the world. Challenge the hedge maze and climb the towering treehouse, where you'll enjoy a commanding view of our magnificent menagerie. Be sure to visit Kitty Kingdom, a magical realm where fantasy meets fun for the whole family. Your younger types will love to go for a spin on the giant Ferris wheel, and be sure to take a tour of King Cola's castle. Finally, in celebration of its worldwide debut, we've revamped the World of Refreshment ride to feature a river of Nuka Cola Quantum. What else would you like to know? Um, that's the glowing radioactive soda that's deadly to drink, isn't it? What if I want a place to relax or get a bite to eat? Where should I go? Why, you're already here. Nuka Town, USA is a great place to unwind and enjoy a delicious meal. If you're searching for a tasty treat your kids will love, take the whole family to Kathy's Cafe. Looking for a romantic night out? Enjoy dinner and a show at the parlor. Want a commanding view while you enjoy a world-class dining experience? Head on up to the Fizz Top Grill on Fizz Top Mountain. If you're up for a challenge, test your skills at the Nuka Cave, or take a wild ride in one of our cola cars. What else would you like to know? No questions for now. In that case, thanks for... Error. <laughs> System malfunction. You're still here? Get the hell out of my face, you miserable, dung-sniffing dirt-scratcher! System restored. Have a great day! Well, there's another mystery to explore. Word is, super mutants just hit the place. They're still trying to rebuild. Should be easy pickings. If there's anything left. How good is this source of yours? It's good, Shank. I don't bring you bullshit. And I'd like to keep it that way. Here, earn this. Anything else you find out? Shank, you'll be the first to know. Huh. Mm. So you're the new I... overboss. As long as you keep your I eyes on the merchandise and off of me, I'm happy to do business. What have you got? It changes every day, to be honest. But I try to keep a good mix of weapons, supplies, and trinkets. It's a decent bet I've got something you want. Now, here's a question. How the heck do they have new merchandise coming in here if they have the whole place sealed off and are killing everybody who comes in here? Let's see what you got. Ah, well. Heck with that. I need, uh... Need some more ammo. Yeah, let's be honest, I'm not going to use that sword that much. I'm going to want to keep my vault Tech X01 armor, even if I do uh, switch to the Overboss stuff just for strutting around. Yeah, that's enough for now. Okay. Hi there! If you have any... Hey. Hell of a balancing act, being in charge. I don't envy you. I'm sure Gage will send you my way soon enough. Okay. Well, I might as well check out the marketplace real quick. Though I'm curious how the, uh, again, how the barter economy functions here when they... 
you know, all the merchants are slaves and the gangs just take what they want anyway. I thought about trying my hand at the gauntlet just to see if I could do it. <laughs> Waste of time now. No one's stopping your performance. Well, well. It's the highest and mightiest himself. How can I be of service, eh? What have you got? The medicine you need to set yourself free. I've got chems of all kinds for you, boss. Just tell me what you need. Not interested. Whatever you want, boss. Not looking for trouble, just some good deals. Ain't no one sad about Coulter. Just don't screw this up. Three rival gangs in one place and they're not killing each other? Never seen anything like it. This place really makes me want a Nuka Cola. Hey there, boss. You really laid a beat down on Coulter. That was something. Guess that means his big plans for the park died with him. Big plans? Did that include getting killed in his own arena? Well, of course not, boss. Back when Coulter first took over, he had big ideas. And he made some big promises. His plan was to get the power plant back online and light up the whole park, making it easier to conquer and safer for all of us. We could have done it too, but things changed, slowed down. Coulter stopped pushing, stopped caring so much. Why did he stop caring? Did something happen? Some of the gangs were guessing he got too comfortable, but I don't really know. Well, I'm just a traitor, so I know my opinion doesn't count for anything. But I still think it's a good plan. Hell, I might even give those poor bastards out in Dry Rock Gulch a fighting chance. What poor bastards? What poor bastards are you talking about? Back when the raiders took over, some of us, the traitors who were here before, I mean, got away. Last I heard, those folks were holed up in Dry Rock Gulch. They're probably struggling. If they're alive at all. You think you'll follow through on Coulter's plan? Get the juice flowing again? Uh, you're very well informed. <clears throat> you seem pretty well informed about Coulter's plans. Well, yeah. Coulter needed my input on getting the power plant running again. I'm sort of the unofficial chief handyman around here. Or as close as we've got to one. Guess you could say I've got a vested interest in the plan to get the power back on. Speaking of which, do you think you'll see it through? Coulter's plan, I mean? Coulter had the right idea. I just might finish what he started. I hope you do, boss. Truth is, I've dreamed about that day more than once. Not sure why, really. Maybe I've just grown attached to the place. What with all the work I've done on it. It sounds funny, I know, but... I think Nuka World is something really special. I think she deserves to have her lights shine again. And just imagine, at night you'd see it for miles around. Folk would talk about it. They'd come from all over to shop in the market. That's a lot of caps for you and the gangs. Sounds good to me, son of a fool, been here long. How long have you been here? Been about <clears throat> 20 years now, I guess. For better or worse, Nuka World is my home. Gotta get back to work here. See you around, boss. Found some pretty good stuff while I was out on the road. Interested? Huh, that was sudden. Didn't I just didn't I just talk to you? I'll take a look, sure. Yeah, you are the one I just bought stuff from. That was sudden. Uh, just here to pick up some supplies, boss. Pistols, rifles, grenades. These collars get damn hot after a while. while. Well, well, look who it is. Are you here to grace my humble market stand with your presence, oh great boss, sir? What's your problem? Lose the attitude, sarcastic, just looking around. Not the uh, response I'd usually give as the hero type, but free XP for a speech check is free XP for a speech check. Lose the attitude, or lose something a lot more valuable. Sorry, I know you didn't ask for this. It's just hard not to be bitter, you know? We do all the work, then the gangs reap the rewards. Pretty sweet setup, at least for you. But I guess it doesn't really matter what I think, does it? As long as I'm wearing this collar, I'm no better than a slave. Um... 
You kind of are a slave, dude. Do you complain this much with everyone, or am I just being singled out here? Well, it's not every day that one of us low-life traders get to have words with the high and mighty overboss. Maybe I didn't want to waste the opportunity to tell you how things really are around here. <sighs> now, if you need guns or ammo, I'm the one you talk to. And before you ask, yeah, everyone pays. Even you. I've got a few minutes to browse. All right. Because I do need more ammo. Always. I bring my kids here someday. Come on over. Not for all these years. That last one died too fast. Hey. Losing hey, boss. Gotta admit, it was good to see Coulter go down. He scared the hell out of me. Gave me nightmares. What was he like? In a word, violent. The other raiders might also tell you that he got a little too comfortable in the position. In any case, he wasn't someone whose bad side I ever wanted to be on. Just like I don't ever want to be on yours. I'm not scary. Don't make assumptions. You will fear me. I'm not planning to give anyone nightmares. Thank goodness. I'll sleep a lot better having you in charge. So, uh, what do you think? About running Nuka World, I mean. Figure it must be a pretty tough job. Keeping all these raiders in line. Don't think I can do it. I didn't choose this. Make the best of it. Not really sure. I wasn't really looking to become the overboss of Nuka World, but I might as well enjoy the benefits of my position. Makes sense to me. Well, I'm sure you've got more important stuff to do than talk to me. Or were you here to pick something up? Let's see what you got. Right away, boss. Okay. Well. Oh, uh, hello, boss. Congratulations on taking out Coulter. I'm, uh, sure you'll do great. Well, I congratulate. I'm not sure yet. Damn right. Show some respect. I'm curious. Why would you congratulate me? It's not like you're free to go. Well, to be honest, I don't know you yet, boss. Sorry I'm so nervous. I didn't mean any disrespect, boss. I just don't know where I stand with you, and I, I don't want to end up pissing you off. That and, well, I'd be lying if I said we weren't all wondering how you plan to run the place. I mean, this is your show now. You can do anything you want. You can run Nuka World just like Coulter. Business as usual, or... You could... Um, well, you know... Get rid of the Raiders if you don't exactly agree with how they're running the place. Out of your mind, how dare you digging your own grave, I'm interested. <sighs> well, you know... As interesting as it might be trying to take this place over and... Renovated into a raider haven and keep the gangs from killing each other. Feeling I got all right? mouthy, aren't you? Yeah, you know, um, I might as well cut to the chase and kill them all myself. Well, I admit, I didn't like being roped into this job in the first place. Then this might be your chance to make some changes around here. The gangs that call this place home are already at each other's throats. Now, you could risk your own neck and try to keep them from tearing each other apart, or you could do the right thing and put them in the ground. But when it's all said and done, you're still running this place from your fancy house on the mountain over there. Except now, you won't have to sleep with a gun under your pillow. Hmm. I'd have to kill... all of them? No, of course not. If you're serious about this then you'll have to take down the leaders of the gangs. That means putting a bullet into Nisha, Mason, Mags, and Mags's brother, William. Once you do that, the gangs will collapse and Nuka Town goes back to being a free trading post. I should, uh, probably stop talking about this out here. Just keep what I said in mind. Anyway, I'm the closest thing to a doctor around here. I treat everyone, raider, trader, or traveler alike. Got some medical supplies, too. You're looking for those. Okay. 
I think we have a new plan of attack. But we should probably go talk with Gage days. first. Of course, just killing the gangs is probably going to close off most of the paths of this adventure and make it uh, completely and totally, you know, short adventure. But damn it, I'm a hero. And what does a hero do but, you know, stand up for the innocent and the oppressed, fight the wicked, and kill a bunch of people who really deserve killing? Welcome to the nest, boss. We was wondering when you'd make it down here. So you're basically the Jokers. Okay, amphitheater there. And hey, just wanted to say, no hard feeling. All right? Surprised I'm alive. Didn't mention the death trap. You're a dead man. I get it. Surprised to see me alive? Hey, I may be surprised, but in a good way. All right? Just because I got you in here doesn't mean I didn't regret it. You never mentioned I was walking into a death trap. I know, and I'm sorry. But if you ever cared about anyone, you'd do the same thing. I lost my real family, and Coulter and his gangs took this place from us. Now, these traitors are all I have left. They're my family now. Every time Coulter sent me out to lure people into the gauntlet, I didn't have a choice. I had to do it, or he'd kill someone I cared about. I'm just sorry you had to get caught up in all this. Boring sob story, you're dead, I understand. Did you ever fail to bring someone in? Never. Couldn't afford to. Used to be me and another guy they'd send out. He thought he'd try and escape while he was out there. They found him. Made him watch as they tortured and killed two of our own. Then they sent him through the gauntlet themselves. After that, the choice was obvious. Like I said, sorry you got caught up in all this. Forgiveness is a virtue. It's all right, Harvey. I understand. Good to hear, boss. Never figured I'd find myself in this situation before. I thought yeah, for sure I'd be a goner. Well, better get back to it. Caught one of the traders stealing food. You a sheep or a wolf? Because turned him loose outside the gate. Wolves. Yeah. Then I got in a little extra target practice. Dumbass traitors. Well, so, so let me get this straight. Some scaver makes it through the gauntlet, takes out the boss, and now we're all supposed to follow him? How does that work? He ain't even a raider. Standing oh, right here. Gage was in the mountain the other day, and he had a real long talk with Nisha. In private. Gage? How the hell with that guy? What's he ever done around here? Hey, I'm just telling you what I saw. You want to know more about what's going on? Then maybe you should ask me. What do I look like? An idiot? Yes. Damn Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again. All right. Hey there. Understanding the operators ain't hard. We know how to live. The other gangs? Dying is more their strong suit. Okay, the parlocks. <clears throat> oh, parlor. You haven't seen anything that's um out of the ordinary around here, have you? Maybe something hidden, shaped like a bottle cap. I thought we told you to keep your ass at the market. If you're looking for something, you can find it there, like everyone else. I'm not here for the market. I didn't travel hundreds of miles to go shopping. I don't suppose you came here for a bullet in the brain either. So if you want to live. I suggest you stay where you belong. Oh, you guys are real friendly, aren't you? Nisha really only has one. Oh, room. hell, not her. Don't get caught. Nuka World. I've always dreamed of coming here, and now I finally made it. This place is amazing, don't you think? Okay, yeah. Um, for those of you who did not play Fallout Three, uh. Sierra here is a character from 
that game, which is set about 10 years before Fallout 4, in the capital wasteland of... Say I can be a little overwhelming. Is that why you stopped talking? Of Washington, D.C. Yes, that is why I stopped talking. Anyway, Sierra was this uh, character who ran a Nuka-Cola museum, and she required you to go out and find 30 bottles of Nuka-Cola Quantum for her as part of a quest. And her next-door neighbor, who was... You should drink a Nuka-Cola. That always gets me going. Anyway, she is quite clearly obsessed with Nuka-Cola. Uh, in fact, she is addicted to it. Quite literally, her character is addicted to the soda. In game terms. But she was involved with this Jane Cobb type, who was the only other person living in their little village, and he offered to pay you double... You should drink a Nuka-Cola. He offered to pay double what she was offering for the soda if you could give it to her because, well, he was trying to work his way into being more than friends with Sierra and wanted to give her the soda as sort of a, hey, I like you, here's a gift. And this quest always bugged me uh, on a very Some basic say level. A little overwhelming. Is that why you stopped talking? The quest always bugged me on a very basic level because the whole way it was treated, it's that doing the quest for Sierra got you good karma, even though you are encouraging this poor woman's drug addiction and insanity by doing this. And granted, the whole thing of the other guy Some being all, yes, I'm totally going to pay you to give me the soda so I can try and talk her into sleeping with me, it's sleazy but it doesn't wind up working in the first place because Sierra is so obsessed with soda that she doesn't even think about what it means when he says that he wants to have a sleepover with her. And it winds up ending not working anyway. Running out of steam? You should drink a Nuka-Cola. And that always gets me going. Yeah, you know, okay, yeah, the whole yes, I'm giving you soda, you must sleep with me thing is incredibly sleazy and disgusting and horrible. But in a world where he could just as easily say, Hey, I heard about this wonderful place called Paradise Falls where I can get you a special Nuka-Cola friendship necklace. It's really not that bad. It was one of the problems I had with Fallout 3, and a lot of players had with Fallout 3, was how there are all these quests that are arbitrarily good, bad, you know, good karma, bad karma, you know, rather than being based more on affiliation with groups rather than what you were doing morality-wise. And it was especially annoying to me because they had a similar quest uh, with oh, Angela, the waitress in Rivet City, and Diego, the aspiring priest, where Angela asks you to retrieve some ant pheromones for her so she can basically roofie the priest and convince him to marry her after, you know, this wild night of passion when he is drugged out of his gourd and, you know, cannot resist buxom, you know, blonde trying to... You know, seduce him because for some reason, when you're helping the woman to roofie the priest into you know sleeping with her so she can marry him, this is good karma. And refusing to not you know get involved or you know trying to rat her out to her parents, which wasn't an option. Uh, you you don't get uh, there's no negative karma even though you know you're drugging a priest. Some people say because if you switched it to you know trying to drug a nun. You know, that would be totally blasted as being sexist, horrible, rotten, and awful. But, you know, n not to get too... Anyway, uh, rant over. Apparently, Sierra did survive Fallout 3 and managed to somehow progress the couple of hundred miles from Washington, D.C. to here. And uh, what's-his-name did not come with her. And she also somehow managed to come in here and the Raiders are letting her live even as a tourist when they could just shoot her, take all her caps, and do everything else, you know, like Raiders do. Because then we wouldn't have whatever glorious little quest that she's Some about to give us. A overwhelming. Is that why you stopped talking? Anyway. Doesn't seem all that special to me. What? You can't be serious. This is the most special place in the world. You can just imagine the children, smiling and happy, all drinking Nuka-Cola and having the time of their lives. It must have been magical. The name's Sierra Petrovita. I traveled all the way from the Capital Wasteland to visit this place. 
Maybe you've heard about my Nuka-Cola Museum? Never heard of it. I don't like Nuka-Cola. Nuka-Cola Museum, of course, lie. Free XP. Uh, yeah. The Nuka-Cola Museum. Everyone's heard of that. Really? That's great! I'm so glad word is catching on. Maybe I'll get more visitors soon. You just made my day! Here, let me return the favor. It's not really cold anymore, but I'm sure it still tastes great. Well, I'd stay and chat some more, but I've got to get back to my search. Search for what? Yeah, whatever. I can help. If you are searching for a more ridiculous pair of sunglasses, don't bother. I doubt such a thing exists. Sunglasses? Oh, you mean the cappy glasses. Sorry, sometimes I forget I'm even wearing them. Aren't they great? It was pretty clever making them part of the... Oh, I, I shouldn't have said that. You know what? Never mind. I'll just keep looking. Okay, I managed to piss off Piper with that sarcastic remark. What are you searching for? I don't really want to say. It's nothing personal. I, I just don't know you well enough to trust you. Sorry. You can trust me! I'll keep your secret. You can trust me. Well... Okay. To be honest, I'm so excited I can barely keep it in. It'll be a relief to finally tell someone. I guess you could think of me as the world's biggest Nuka-Cola fan. I've been obsessed with this stuff since the first time I tasted it. I collect all the merchandise I can find. Like these awesome Cappy glasses I'm wearing. But these aren't just ordinary sunglasses. They were part of a really cool contest that started just before the war. And oh my gosh. And the winner of the contest would get to meet the famous John Caleb Bradburton himself. I know that name, get to the point, sarcastic, who's he? Brad Burton, I remember that name. He was the guy who invented Nuka-Cola, right? Exactly! Wow, not a lot of people know that. At least not anymore. So, to win the contest, you had to find ten images of Cappy, the Nuka-Cola mascot, hidden throughout the park. Each image has part of a code or something, and only these special glasses can reveal it. Now I know what you're thinking. Brad Burton's long gone. Who cares about the contest anymore? Well, I'm betting that somewhere in his office is the original Nuka-Cola formula. That formula was one of the great mysteries of the soft drink world, and it would be the crown jewel of my collection. If you can help me get it, I promise it'll be worth your while. What's my reward? Make me an offer. You'd better make good on that promise. I'm not running a charity out here, you know. Of course. Th there's a little bit more to the story, and this is the part I think you'll like. Brad Burton didn't just create soda formulas. He was a genius who embedded all kinds of fantastic things. All I really care about is getting my hands on the Nuka-Cola formula. Any other inventions we find are yours to keep. So, what do you think? I think it would be insanely stupid for me to agree to help you, but... Damn it. Sure, why not? Might learn more about the park while I'm at it. Good point. You're new here, after all. You should learn everything you can. I'll give you my cappy glasses and this old contest tape. It's got hints about where to find the hidden cappies. Just track down the clues, and then come back to me once you've found them all. I'm an expert in all things Nuka-Cola, so I'm sure I'll be able to decipher it. Happy hunting! Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Okay. And, uh, in case it is not completely obvious at this point, the... Uh, th this is, in fact, a parody, I'm guessing, of a rather famous, uh scavenger hunt at Disneyland where you try and find hidden images of Mickey Mouse all around the park. And of course, uh, Nuka Town USA is a parody of Main Street USA and all of the employees being slaves is a joke about how Disney tends to treat their staff. A lot of so uh, subtle social commentary Misha, here, really I must say. I'm betting this water is radioactive as hell, isn't it? But not as deep as you'd think. 
Never did get why Coulter brought in three gang to claim Nuka World. I mean, he had us. Don't need the rest. That is a rather interesting point. Welcome home, boss. The digs are yours now. I hope you like the look. Coulter had some peculiar tastes. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control, now that you're in charge. If I'm really running the show now, let's get to work. Now that right there is just the kind of attitude I was hoping for. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? Yeah, power behind the throne. I hear you, Gage. Good. I know I'm throwing a lot at you all at once here. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. Shit. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, world is yours. We had a good head start on it. Got a lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we push in through the front gate, take over Nuka Town, get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was... is... a real mess. I can fix this. I can make this work. Yeah? Yes, we can! Man, I sure hope so. Ain't gonna lie. I've heard about you. Part of that railroad, ain't you? I don't give a damn about their little crusade. But guess I know you've got some fight in you. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. Can I kill them? You need them to respect you enough to follow you. Eh, they'll respect me if I kill them, right? Don't worry. Everybody likes me. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. Look, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. Okay, let's do this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right man for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss after all. Just don't screw this up. And don't you forget it. Well, first things first. Hey. Where to? You look like you could use a pick me up. Trip, trip, trippity, dem old tripping balls. Trip, trip, trippity, dem old tripping balls. Trip, trip, trippity, dem old tripping balls. Trip, trip, trippity, dem old tripping. Okay, we're here at the parlor where the first of the bosses is. Head on in, over boss. And do we want to give him a chance for conversation? All anyone's turned up so far is that he's got that pit boy on his arm. So, are you older? This is a vault dweller. Or iced a vault dweller. Hmm. You can go. Let's not give them the chance to talk. 
Oh, she's a tough one. Well, apparently, uh, that new Overlord power armor doesn't work quite as well as you'd think. All right, then. You can go. Well, maybe we'll try with the brother first, see if that works a little bit better. Did I lose so much health that quickly earlier? Ah, well this may explain it. Let's deal with some of the minions first, then. Funny, I could have sworn I had some grenades left. Huh, didn't have them selected. I am terrifying, thank you.
You know, this may be a little bit trickier than I thought. So, I mean, Overboss is a vault dweller. Or Ice the vault dweller. Hmm. You can go. Well, hell. Didn't uh, select my grenades this time.
<clears throat> Where'd they go? Now enemies with the gangs of Nuka World, like I wasn't already. Right, finally. Well, two down. Always there when I need ya. <sighs> of course, now we're gonna have the whole park trying to kill us more than likely. But hey, being a hero ain't easy. Trip, trip. Trippity dem old trippin' balls. Trip, trip, trippity dem old trippin' balls. Trip, trip, trippity dem old trippin' balls. Trip, trip, trippity dem old trippin' balls. Trip. Okay, everybody, a quick little explanation of what happened. Uh, you'll see I have managed to play through this entire scenario now, and I did record it, but the second video footage got corrupted somehow and I lost everything from the end of taking on the operators to where I stopped filming. 
So we've got a little bit of lost time here where I fought my way through the streets and got to the hideout of the pack and I managed to fight my way in but at that point my armor completely disintegrated and is now more of a hindrance than anything. So I've just managed to fight my way into a corner. I've gotten out of my power armor so I'm now just in my regular silver shroud costume and I've got the pack bearing down on me but luckily I've got an escape route and Piper out there somewhere hopefully coming to help me so uh, with that in mind let's unpause and hopefully I can get my way out of this in one shot otherwise we're gonna have a lot more reloading and a lot more uh, quick cutting Thankfully, I've almost got a crit saved. Okay, a dog's coming. Thankfully, one shot will take care of him. And there's the exit. There's going to be a few of these guys in here. And okay, they were uh, better prepared than I was expecting. So, let's try that again. Okay, got that one that time. Now they're going to be coming around the corner one at a time here in a moment. And they're going to be chucking grenades from a distance, but hopefully I can deflect some of that into the room where the other guys are coming out. And keep stem packing my way until... Oh, gotta reload. And there's the boss man himself. And okay, did not quite manage to heal up fast enough that time. Trip, trip, trip it, dem old tripping balls. Trip, trip, trip it, dem old tripping balls. Trip, trip. Trippity dem old trippin' balls. Trip, trip, trippity dem old trippin' balls. Trip, trip, trippity dem old trippin' balls. Trip, trip, trippity. Fight. 
Okay, yeah, I forgot that the key to this was uh, using Deliverer. But we're not quite out of the woods yet, no pun intended, with the wild ones here. Uh, we're still surrounded, still in enemy territory. And I'm almost out of ammo for Deliverer. Thankfully, my stealth skills are good enough that... It's not alerting the rest of the guard. Which means we also... Might have a chance of being able to sleep here. And hey, Piper, nice of you to join me. I didn't get the bonus for uh, Lover's Embrace, unfortunately. Oh, that's just wrong. Well, anyway, that is uh, three of the four leaders now, but if this is like the last time I played through it... Yeah, I cannot fast travel the music now. Yeah. Nisha has gotten wise to what's going on and has apparently headed for the hills and run out to the west edge of the map. Except we can, in fact, fast travel to that point. But we're not going to do that just yet. Because if we're going to fast travel back to the Fizz Top Grill... Okay, now can I do it? Dang it. Okay. Because I'm totally hidden. So they shouldn't see me doing this somehow. So we'll go back here and try this again. Haha! -ha! Okay, so now I'm magically going to teleport myself back to my safe place. Or I can fix my armor. Or, no, actually, you know, let's not bother fixing the overboss armor. Because I have my nice, handy dandy, still intact, trusty old X01 armor back in storage at the base. So we'll switch bodies out, go deal with the last of the leadership. Looks like uh, Gage is otherwise lost in thought. There we go. Whoop. 
when did that get broken? Oh, that's right. And me short on aluminum. And I did, yeah, I did pretty much completely grab everything over here already, trying to fix Piper's armor up. Gage. Silent treatment, huh? Oh well, not a problem. Been wanting to try this out for a while anyway. to me to get killed doing something silly like that. Oh well, thankfully the game did save itself before I, uh, when I moved here. At least I think it did. Well, it should have before I fast traveled anyway. Yeah, it did. Okay, then. Nuka-Cola Dark was the corporation's attempt at, well, yeah. Doctors locate most settlements, blah, blah, blah. Kingdom for some spare aluminum right now. Oh well. Well, half an armored suit is better than none, I suppose. At least I got the jetpack. But first things first, and just to be totally safe about this... I missed? From this close I missed?
not like Well, he took his armor. <laughs> okay, I think we got their attention. Yeah, my armor doesn't seem to be doing a lot, does it? But I like this new rifle. Yeah, I definitely like this sniper rifle. We seem to have taken care of the area immediately around the square. But before we go deal with Nisha, I think maybe we should go and make sure the traitors are safe.
Blue, we're not alone here. Yeah, I figured that, Piper. Thank you. Took their head clean off with that one. Kiss it all goodbye. Doing this the hard way. Ooh, level up time. Let's see. Oh, I don't have enough to take the perception ten feet yet. Now well, let's fix that. They're still here somewhere. Watch out. Hey, you your chance. Corpse. Just a corpse. Guess we showed them. All right, to the marketplace. So I'll have some place to sell this stuff once I'm done freeing everybody. I don't think so. Ah, there's Shank. Went down a little easier than the ever bosses. There's machines here that used to spray kids with Nuka-Cola. What was wrong with those people? Hey, Harvey. Boss? Harvey, Harvey, Harvey the Wonder Traitor. Alright. Just mopping up at this point, I think. Bye. Uh -huh. 
Ooh, nothing left but meat there. Okay, I have ammo on that, but oh wait, no I'm not. Guess he must have wounded one of them, but... As long as you keep your eyes on the merchandise and off of me, I'm happy to do business. Well, hey, as long as I'm here. And yeah, right back to business. Hi, Shelby. Stocking up for your next raid? Have a look. Yeah, that's one way of putting Let's it. See what you have. Right away, boss. Hey, 10 millimeter. Could use some of that. I definitely use some fusion cells. Oh, what the heck. Not gonna, not gonna be rolling in caps after I sell all this junk anyway, right? Alright, let's head out. Because we have one more of the uh, gang bosses to track down. Yeah, it's pretty much just mopping up at this point. I mean, we cleared out most of them, but... Uh, I do love how the doctor said you wouldn't have to fight everybody, just kill the bosses. And I'm pretty sure I have killed darn near every raider in here at this point. Except for maybe a few remotely hidden ones, but... Anyway, we're heading out the south gate, I think. Yeah, south gate, and we're wanting to head over that way. Hi there. You... Okay, yeah, there's the pack hideout. Which we already cleared out with vengeance. I guess since I haven't gotten a mission failure notice that Sierra is probably still alive somewhere. Because I couldn't be lucky enough for her to have gotten taken out in the crossfire. Oh, let's go ahead and heal up. There's not a lot that's dangerous in between the attractions, but uh, there's enough for it to be annoying. And on that note, let's go ahead and quick save here. Just to be safe. And since this next bit's going to be kind of uneventful, I'm going to go ahead and do an edit cut here and jump to when we track down Nisha. Trip, trip, trippity, dem old tripping balls. 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 Trip. Okay, we're back. You didn't miss much apart from... Uh, fighting some ants, uh, blood worms, and a couple of giant cave crickets, but here we are. Nisha is apparently camped out at this point on the west, uh, up this road here. We're going to go ahead and take a stealthy approach, even though at this point, I don't think there's much that can hurt us. Famous last words. So watch the invisible death claw of doom come from somewhere.
Yep, do west any moment now. Ah, the sounds of conflict and a glowing thingy. Apparently Nisha has been mixing it up with some ghouls for a bit. Oh, actually she's doing quite badly. Well, let's put her out of her misery. Okay, it's not gonna let me sniper shot her, I guess. Okay, guess we gotta get close enough for her to be healthy before we can kill her. Nice logic there. Oh, come on, she's closer. She's meteor. Damn ghouls. Okay, mission accomplished. Well, you're still here. Sweet Sweet Come on. I don't have to outrun the ghouls, Blue. I love you too, Piper. I really do. Alright, let's go ahead and drop some of this crap so we can fast travel out of here. I do not need the uh, spiked arm. All right. Well, let's go back to uh, our rich reward. Such as it is. <sighs> so yeah, that is uh, how you can take down the raider gangs and win this place for the free traders of Nuka World. I'm kind of bad for these traders having to wear the collars like that. Yeah, well, it's not going to be uh, that way for long, pal. I I can't believe it. You killed the raiders. Yep. All of them. Yep. I have to ask. Why? Just felt like it raiders to scum to set you free. You and the other traders were being treated like slaves. They're wearing collars. They are slaves. You certainly did that. I've thought about this day for a long time. Dreamed about it, really. Though I never thought I'd see that dream come true. Now that it has, I'm left with a question that I don't know the answer to. Where's the keys? What happens next? Anything you want, not my problem. What do you want? Up to you. You'll have to figure that out on your own. You're right. We need to make that decision for ourselves. Before you go, there's one last thing I need to say. Thank you. Sincerely, from all of us. Thank you. Wherever the road takes you, know that you'll always be welcomed back here in Nuka World. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to figure out a way to safely remove these collars. And that was only worth 800 XP. But Piper loved it. A little of everything here. Come take a look. Need me to look at you, or yeah, you can look at me. Look at me leave. 
Now, of course, by uh, doing this, you do unlock uh, yourself off from the better part of Nuka World, because the whole conceit of this add-on, it turns out, this whole DLC mission, is that you go about fighting your way to reclaim the different parts of the park and give them off to the various gangs. And, of course, you gain, you know, brownie points with some of them, you lose brownie points with some of them. You have to kind of achieve that balance between the different gangs. Eventually, one of them will turn on you, but you can eventually turn the whole Nuka World complex into a raider hub. And working with Shank, you get the ability to start setting up raider outposts to bird dog all the various townships that the Minutemen are trying to protect. Which does sound kind of like a satisfying Holy thing. Holy shit, boss. That was some reckoning you pulled off. Yeah. Never thought I'd say it. But I sure am glad you ended up at Nuka World. That year we spent under those raiders won't be easy to forget. But I never even dreamed we'd be getting out of this with our freedom. We owe you so much, I don't even know where to begin. Besides saying thanks. What do you do now? You don't know me. Raiders deserve death. You're welcome. What'll you do now? I haven't even taken a moment to think about that. Maybe now we can restore this place back to its former glory. A fair trading post with good people. And once word spreads about what you did here, no way any raiders are going to think about touching this place anytime soon. Well, me being the noble heroic sort that I am, I'm willing to call this uh, ended, even though there's quite a few quests here I haven't touched yet, which I probably could still do. I can probably still do that quest for Sierra if she's still alive, and probably there's a fair bit I can do to try and make this into a better place to live for the traders now that they're free. But, uh... That's all resource building and management, and I don't think that'd be too fun to film. Besides, uh... Part of me still got a hankering to play hero wearing a trench coat and a fedora. And I think we'll get back to that bit of business next week. What am I talking about? You'll have to come in to see what that is. But uh, until then, this is Starman signing off, and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.